Today we're not going to look at the popular and well-known one-off locations like the military base or the prison or even the mall. For today I went out and looked for a bunch of lesser known yet unique locations. The first location we're going to visit is located near Louisville. It's a hunting lodge. And now that wouldn't be so weird. I've been told Kentucky is a state quite rich in the nature department. Were it not for the fact that this is not a hunting lodge, it is THE hunting lodge. The only one I could find in the whole map. And whilst this place might at first glance look like a fine establishment, when you look a second time, this club um, leaves a bit to be desired. Yeah. But I assure you this enterprise does not only lack in the looks department, because it also has quite a lousy security, which is in turn quite interesting for us. Seeing as the club members store their guns at the back, this is one of the few buildings I have ever encountered in which you can just climb in through the back window, not set off any sort of alarm, grasp around in a wild frenzy and just walk away with a bunch of ammunition and guns. But it is only when you head down south for just a tiny bit when I truly got flabbergasted. Over here I have found the only outdoor shooting range in the whole of Project Zomboid. The game supposed to simulate a not insignificant slice of Kentucky. You know, gun wielding, open carry Kentucky. Like for realism's sake, I really hope I missed like 15 other shooting ranges. But this one was the only outdoors one I could find. And once again, you're just able to walk into the counter and Yoink. a bunch of weapons. Now on to something else. You probably know there's a bunch of burnt down and just empty squatters houses spread throughout the map. But for as far as I've been able to confirm, there's only one truly decrepit house among them. Where is that located? Well, of course, it's in the capital of crustiness and decay, in Muldraw. Now, by looking at the remains of this, uh, thing, it's not very easy to make out what it once was. But if I would have to guess, I'd put my money on it being some sort of small, old, decrepit farm. For the next location, we once again don't have to move far. Towards perhaps my favorite dilapidated building in the whole map. The Crackalicious Mildraw train station. And now, it's not yet that far gone. On the scale of hot, freshly constructed base to completely rotten apart maggot factory, I would put this somewhere in the middle. A missing link, if you will. But in terms of usefulness, it's about one being a good source of firewood away from being totally useless. But if you ever wanted some decrepitated buildings to look at, now you finally have something to do. Speaking about firewood, there's only one foresting operation in the whole map, except for maybe these two trailers. And next to having a nice bit of easy wood, it might also serve you as a fun, quirky little safe base location. Cause, shh, don't tell anybody, but I've heard it's very good for surviving zombie apocalypses. But if you really want to consider some hardcore wilderness survival, you'll of course need water. I mean, you can get a lot from foraging, but no matter how many insects you scrape off the ground, I just don't think you're gonna hit your daily hydration quota whilst doing it. In that case, your best option is to look for an isolated lake. But most of these have at least one little pathway leading towards it, and that reeks of humanity. And somehow, the only two actually somewhat isolated lakes on the whole map. One over here, and one over here. So with these lakes you can rest assured you can walk a whole hundred meters in all directions and don't have to fear any interaction that could possibly remind you of the humanity you left behind. <gasps> but if you were looking for the safest spot in the whole wilderness to build your base, I would like to suggest this beautiful bend in the river. It's the only one of its kind in the whole map. You only have to section off a bit there, so the zombies can do nothing but walk straight into your trap. And you get a nice, um, acreage with plenty of room for whatever crazy building plan your little brain can come up with. And are you sold? Okay, then pay a bitch. Let's just move on. Because next up, we have a very different kind of location. All the way up on the other side of the map. The Louisville Animal Shelter. And yes, there are no animals in the game. So the shelter is completely empty. And yes, I have talked about this place before in a previous video. But hey, it's pretty cool. 
And I'm quite interested to see what the devs do with this place once they finally get around to adding animals in the game. Next up, I've got something actually useful for once, in terms of base locations at least. You probably know that out of the hundred or so farms on the map, there's a select few that have this well. Now, under normal circumstances, you'd probably think nothing of it. Most you would do is walk up to one and throw an old rusty quarter inside. But as we discussed earlier, zombie apocalypse plus water equals good, especially considering well water is next to tap water the only source that does not give you a horrible case of dysentery. But that is not the only thing that makes this farm unique. It's also fully surrounded by a bit of forest, so it mostly stops any zombies from wandering over. But the forest is not so thick that you'll never be able to get out of it. Overall, the farm's out in the middle of nowhere, but if you really need an emergency trip, you still have a tiny little settlement next door. And the whole property is so big, you'll never run out of room. This is like the best zombie apocalypse hideout place I've ever seen in this game. Now, on to the next and final location. And this one sure is an anomaly, logically speaking at least. The countryside has, of course, many little sheds and barns scattered all over the place. And I get that a busy farmer needs some farmhands to help him keep up with everything. But why then is this little hut complex, with nothing but rooms barely big enough to fit a bed, situated in the middle of a field, surrounded by more field? I mean, the many of this exact type building around, but nowhere else could I find them just randomly divorced from a farm. So that was all in terms of location that I had for you today. If maybe not wholly useful, I at least hope you enjoyed this week's video. If that's the case, hopefully see you next week. Bye bye.